Working with pivot tables can be a bit confusing. Not everyone is comfortable working with pivot tables in Excel. And in my experience, that's never more true than trying to format dates to visualize the output that you're actually looking for. So let's take a look at an example and see how to solve one of the most common issues I've found when trying to get the date format that you're looking for. In this case, I have three months of purchase history data that we're gonna use to dive into. Diving right in, let's take a look at this purchase history order and create our pivot table. I'll go ahead and select our data. Up on the ribbon, select insert, choose pivot table, and I'll go ahead and just add it to a new worksheet. Now let's say we wanna see the sum of price. We'll break it up by supplier, and we can further spread that out by bringing in our dates. So I'll pull the purchase date down into rows, and you can see from the pivot table that we have our supplier, we have the sum of the price for that particular supplier, and by drilling down, we have the different months, April, May, June, and the sum of the price for each month. I can open up April, and you've got the various dates. But what if I didn't want it by month? What if I wanted to see the individual days? Well, there's a few ways you can do this. One of the more direct ways is to go down to your pivot table fields under rows. You see you have months for purchase date, you have days, and you have purchase date. So we could remove months, we can remove days, which leaves us with purchase date and the sum of the prices for each individual date. Now if I go back, another way we can do this, equally as simple, is to ungroup these dates. So you can go to any date field. In this case, we'll choose April under the color co. Go ahead and right click. If you scroll down, you see the ungroup option. If I select that, we've ungrouped our months and have all of our dates in their place. Go back again. Another way we can do this, if we go up to our Pivot Table Analyze tab, again, we have the ungroup option. Now, if we actually wanted to keep these grouped but choose our desired grouping, we could select Group Field. We have all of our dates. And let's say we want to group our months, our days, and our quarters. Select OK. We have quarter two, we have the month of April, and we have the individual days within April showing us our sum of price. It's as simple as that. Easy enough, right? 